Blog Talk Radio. Good evening, everyone. This is me, Jonathan M. Bander, and I'm here to host our show, Life, Laughter, Happiness. Uh, today, I have my co-host, Barbara. Are you there, Barbara? Yes, I'm here. Hi, everybody. Good. I hope you got a nice shower. And um, yeah. then I have uh, I have uh, our psychic, Dale Shear. Are you there, Dale? Yes, I am. I certainly well, am. What I was, what I was going to say before, I was going uh-huh. I was going to be hearing what I said before the show. Apparently, my father told me that just about every business has suffered during oh, yeah. the, um, the, the results of the coronavirus. However, there's one stuff, one that has actually gone up. And he goes, what do you think it is? And I went and immediately guessed medical supply. <laughs> you yes. know. Well, yeah, I he said saw that on. Yes. That you could guess the Amazon. pizza. Yes. Uh, and the right on my mask. Well, the DoorDash, Grubhub, that's they're all they're all up because they have to deliver food. So that's up. Yeah, and then they have up. A, Zoom TV is up because everybody wants all it's all kind of things, you know. So it, it's yeah, crazy. Right. I've never seen anything like this in my lifetime. And I don't know about you, Barb. How about you? Nope. No, nope. it's the first one. Why do you sound down? What's the matter? Who no. does? Johnny? No. Oh, no. Gosh, no. You're up. I feel, okay. I'm so up today, ready to have fun. And That's I always it. have fun with you. And I love it that you always say you have fun with me. It, I look forward I to do. it so much. I really do, too. I do look forward to it. And I can't wait till we meet in person. It's going to be fun. So, um, Dan, yeah. do you have any, uh, you want to start with the caller? We sure do. 863. 863, <laughs> you are the first lucky caller. You're on live with Psychic Del Shear. Hi, this is Julia. Thank you for taking my call. Hi, Julia. Where are you from? I'm calling from Florida. Florida. Okay. What, which place, Miami or what? Uh, no, I live out by Disney. Oh, cool. I haven't been there yet. Okay. Then I'll see Florida, but not down that way. And why are you helping everybody? It seems like you're the go-to person. If, if someone needs help all the time, you'll help someone out of all these kind of messes. And, you know, sometimes it's training on you. What's What's going on with that? Uh, my mother. I try to help oh. her as much as I can. You know, she's getting older, and I'm concerned about her and her health and well, you're everything. <laughs> yeah, you're caretaking her. Correct? Um, actually, she lives in Ohio, so I do what I can, you know, from a distance. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. It's rough. I'm so, well, weren't you going to fly out there to be with her or something? Yeah, I was, but it got delayed. Uh, my plan originally was to go from Florida to Ohio and get my mother, and then the two of us were going to drive to Kansas where my daughter lives. But mm-hmm. they're doing some home home renovations, so it kind of got put on the back burner until they're, you know, finished with all that stuff. So maybe June-ish we're looking at. Yeah, I think June would be better for everybody, June, July. It, because of the coronavirus there, yeah, it's, it, it's kind of weird everywhere you go. So, you know, things have to be put on hold. But mom's going to hang in there, so not to worry. And I know that's one of your questions, even though you didn't ask. But mom is going to hang in there. Oh, good. <laughs> well, actually, um, I'm kind of starting over midlife. And I need to, I've been, I went through a divorce after 30 years and been in hermit mode, just sort of healing, regrouping, hiding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I well, need to get myself let, back out there and look for employment. Much, so that's kind yeah, of why I'm calling. There's plenty of employment, but much to your surprise, too. Um, do you have to gain weight or lose weight? Is she something with weight? I need to. I have gained weight. I do need to lose okay. weight. I'm kind of okay, the heaviest I've ever been. Yeah, that's because of all the stress you've gone through. 
So I would definitely go on, you know, one of those diets that work real well, the Atkins or whatever, you know, you feel good about. And um, the you will lose the weight. And uh, I do, believe it or not, I do see a man coming in, and there is marriage in the near future down the line of the next five years. So not to worry. Um, I mean, contact me as we get closer, but, I mean, you will meet him. I feel you meet him through a friend or something of that sort, so not to be concerned. Okay? Okay, but you do see employment? Yes. What type of work do you do? Uh, I've done, like, office-type work, clerical, administrative support, I guess is what they call it now. <laughs> Back in the day, it was yeah, a secretary, well, no. now it's administrative support. Well, there's so. hun- <laughs> there's hun- all you have to do is looking for work, go online. There's hundreds of jobs. So not to worry, you will definitely get a job, okay? Especially and that kind of work. On you. I mean, this is, I, want, I want to go to the next person. So, I mean, I just see you doing good, but don't worry. It's going to get better. Good. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys taking my call. Have a great night. You too. You, you too. That was wow. a good one. I kind of answered all our questions before she asked, so that was cool. Yeah, you got so quickly. It's interesting how you do. You know, I don't know how. <laughs> not always. Like maybe it takes, you know, five more seconds, or maybe it's immediate. So it's really quite interesting to listen to. You Actually, do it depends on my mood. It really does. It depends on how I click in. So, do we have another one? Oh, okay. We sure do. 551. 551, you're on live with Psychic Dale Shear. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. This is Tasha. Well, I'm sorry, sweetie. What is your name? Tasha. Spell that. T A S H S. Tasha. Tasha. Very pretty name. Um, and where are you calling from? I'm calling from New York tonight. Okay. All right, New York City or where, be specific, where in New York? Um, in the city, Manhattan. Okay. You don't even have that much of an accent. I'm from Jersey, New York. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, well, I live down south, too. Oh, that's why. You have a mixture of a southern New York accent, girl. That is yeah. weird. That is uh-huh. totally weird. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going, where is this woman from? She ain't from New York. Anyway, um, you, I see you dancing. Or I see you going out dancing and doing something with dance, 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 going to a party. What is that that I'm seeing? Oh, that's what I like to do, like, start on weekends sometimes, just here and there, oh, not wow. too much. I know, but I still see you having fun. And yeah. And don't think too much because sometimes you can, you know, overdo it. And um, who's the guy you're interested in? I see a guy you're interested in. Um, I don't know. I I I talked to a guy, but I he's just my friend. I don't think we're going anywhere further than that. I was actually going to ask about relationships if you saw someone new coming in. Yes. How old are you, sweetie? I'm sorry? How old are you? 31. Oh, you're young. Okay. Um, definitely. Men you meet partying or, you know, at clubs or doing something like that. I see that happening. I see when you dress, you dress great. You dress impeccably. Everything doesn't match, but you make, you put it together. Yeah. Does that make, I mean, you, I mean, you're out there with clothes. I mean, you yeah. need a, a clothes designer, you know? It's like, That's I so can see like. Somebody else told me that. I was actually talking to my mom about sewing and things like that. Well, it's something you should consider because, or help other people because you can really dress really good. I mean, have fun with it and enjoyable. And you, when you walk into a room, it's like people look at you and you, you can be the life of the party. You know, 
So I wouldn't worry yeah. about guys. I mean, you've had relationships, but they haven't been that great. So I don't know that yeah. you're ready for something yet, but when you're ready, it's going to happen. Yeah. I think I'm ready now. Um, I actually just... <laughs> See what you said? I think. I, I actually just I'm, got out of something um, a couple know, of days. I know. A couple of days. How is that? Is that is that over? Only if you want it to be. I mean, you have the tendency where relationships will follow you no matter what, and you have to like get rid of them. You know. So it, it, if you want it to be, what month you born? The month that um, I I was born, or the the person. No, no, the month you're born, your birthday. Oh, uh, December. December what? Ninth. Okay. So you have a little bit of Sag in you and some Scorpio. Uh, you just don't worry. I mean, you just play it by ear and take one day at a time. Um, there's going to be relationships around you, and this other one kind of not over. I mean, it is, but it isn't, it is, but it isn't. You go back and forth, back and forth. I would kind of like put it on the back burner and move on to someone else. Okay. Okay? Okay. I just, is he to, seeing other people too? I don't know, sweetie. I would need to talk to him. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. right. You have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, hey, Barb. 31 is very young. Yeah. Well, those were, you know, like, I'm like really zoomed in or something. I don't know what's going on. I'm just like picking up before they even ask, you know? I know. Okay. But did you kind of hear in her voice like she didn't want, she was kind of like a 31. And it's like, hey, you are young. I know the 20s are over. The uh, 30s, 30s are great, 40s are great, 50s are great. So, you know, be confident, know it's coming. And I'd say after talking to you, I'd be pretty darn happy to go out dancing. Yeah, she likes to dance. She's good at it, too, and she even admitted it. She, everything I say, they, what I love is that they confirm it. You know, Johnny and I were talking a little bit earlier about a good psychic and a bad psychic. Johnny, can we address that momentarily? Go right ahead. Huh? Johnny? I said go right ahead. Address it. Yeah, what go is, right I ahead. Okay. I was trying to, uh, Barb, I was trying to say, a lot of people don't know the difference between a good psychic and a bad psychic. And, you know, it's whatever works for you. If you go to a psychic and whatever they say happens, then that's, one that is for you. But there's a lot of them out there that are just out for money, you know, that just want to tell you everything you want to hear, you know, not the reality of the situation. So it forces you to go back forward. Well, why didn't this happen? We'll give it a little bit more time. Well, why didn't this happen? Give it a little bit more time. Meanwhile, it's crossed my palm with money, and they want you to come back, 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 so they'll tell you what you want to hear. And then there's people like myself that just tell you like it is, you know. So um, right. it's like there's different types of psychics. You have to go to the right one, just like the right doctor. You know, there's mediums, there's the other side, there's the future. There's all kinds of different psychics, you know. So you have to ask the psychic, what do you specialize in? And that has to match what you want. Okay. So I'm just okay. a little but on that. That is true but there are some that are really not that's easy to tell though if they're just pretending and they really are not well, like how you could tell how you could tell it's really kind of, i mean it's simple if, if they say i'm going to remove a curse or or you know you have a curse on you and those are the phonies the gypsies you know they're the phonies Okay. You know, yeah. They have the palm up uh, across my, across my uh, palm with money. I mean, you know, that's what they are. So you just yeah. gotta be, pick the right ones that are for you, or by recommendation. And yeah. then what works for somebody? I'll never forget. I went to. I go to psychics all the time. I mean, you know, every psychic needs a psychic. But one of my favorite psychics is in Hawaii, and she's not professional at all, and. 
Joey reads for me, whatever. She's very, very, very psychic. Everything she tells me happens. It's amazing. But, I mean, you know, you find those every so often. Yes, and you would be able to really tell. So she's not even doing it for a living, but you just, that's the one for you. Well, she has, it's funny, she has a pineapple stand in Hawaii. And I walked up to her one day and I looked in her eyes. You know, you can tell if you're psychic, you can tell if someone else is psychic in the eyes and the soul. So I said, you're psychic, aren't you? Yes. And so, you know, we started talking. You know, but some people, are yeah, scared. they don't like to let people know that they are for fearful myths of being made fun of, which all my life has been my case. You know, it's like or you know, they're new at it, maybe, and they don't want to be tested. They're in, a little insecure, just like anything, even if they might be really good coming on if they're new. You know, we've had new people on over this year. Mm-hmm. I've been on, and you and they get very nervous, but then they end up a lot of them doing really well, and then that's such a boost of confidence for them because it's, mm-hmm. it is a career, and it is something they care about, so they're going to be a little bit nervous about it. So I it's a good it. place to test the waters here when you're in a safe environment, you know. But, yeah, I, you know, I we you should get it to helping the people, not so much the money. I mean, some, some of the psychics out there, charge phenomenal amounts of money. I mean, you know, ridiculous. I mean, like... I know. I've so seen the prices. When I go to the websites, I, I see the prices that are set there. They are. But you know what? Maybe they only do one every six months. But those prices... I don't think they do any. Like, they have Sylvia Brown. Remember her? She used to charge $750 a reading and be wrong all the time. It was amazing. You know, until they uh, nabbed her on CNN. But uh, it's, you know, it's sad. It's sad. I just don't believe in ripping people off. It's bad karma. Very bad. And you know what? Oh, that's making a lot of people very mad. Mm-hmm. Okay. So who else do we have? Then? Area code 216. Oh, hold on. 216. You're on with Psychic Del Shear. Hi, Del Shear. How are you? Fine, thank you. I just turned my volume up. Can you hear me okay? Oh, I thought you <laughs> said I would have turned my volume up. I go, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, yes. Uh, okay. What is your name again, and where are you from? I'm calling from Ohio, and my name is Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Okay, Come from on. Ohio. We're just getting them all over the place. Let's see that. What is wrong with your car? Did you get a new car? What is it? My car? Oh, well, yeah. I'm getting the oil changed next week. I, I don't know. I'm in the tire rotated, all that stuff. That's actually coming up Thursday. So maybe I'll oh, okay. find out when I get there. There's nothing wrong with it now. <laughs> no, I don't mean anything major. I just saw you doing something with your car. So it's yeah. being serviced. It's a newer okay. car. Okay. No, I just saw being serviced. Uh, and I see a dental problem of having to go to the dentist. Well, I did all that wow, at the end of the year. I, maybe I will. I, nothing's wrong right now, but you could be right. I do go twice a year, though. So <laughs> maybe we'll Okay, I don't know if it's a thing uh, or it's just like there's a little problem. Nothing major. You're okay. basically very healthy. You watch yourself. You exercise. You're good. You do a lot You're of right. good things. And... Uh, you love baking and cooking, but you like it a special way, you know, health fanatic type thing. You know, but you, you can make anything, and people love your cooking. Yeah, I do like to bake, really. I do, yeah. And you're good at it. Um, <laughs> why, why do I see dogs and kids running around? What's going on there? Um, well, I have a lot. I, I didn't, I had to put my dog to sleep two years ago, so it's not my dog, but we do have mm-hmm. dogs. I mean, in the family, just not in my home. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Or when you visit. Just I want to get another one, but it's hard with work. You know what I mean? I know. Don't get it unless you just it. can give it the time. I had the same thing happen to me last month. I had to put my dog down. I love dogs. Sure I love it. I have to any kind. So that's probably why you're picking it up. Oh, yeah, lots of dogs. I've been thinking about rescuing one. I always say, yeah, yeah, I know. (laughs) 
Well, you're right up my alley because that's something I'm going to do. I have a little girl named Princess, and she's very, very, very smart. She's a German uh, shepherd, so it's good. So what do you what do you need to know? I have a question. Um, I was wondering if you see my sister and I, will we ever make amends, or is this going to be like this all the time? My dad passed away a month. It's a month now. And I'm, mm-hmm. I'm at peace now. It took me a couple of weeks, believe me. But um, mm-hmm. she was really nasty. And I just wondered, you know, what's going on? With, will we ever make amends or is this it? I mean, I'm serious. Well, I know she can why is not. He, why is she nasty? Is it about money? Is it about the will? What's going on? Uh, it could have been a little bit about that, but it's all even. I, I'm not mad at all over it. I don't know what's going She's very. She is a very selfish person. I will say that. Mm-hmm. Well, number one, she's very jealous of you for whatever reason. And um, she kind of thinks you owe her for everything. She thinks, she thinks everybody, everybody owes her. Owes, There's owes a big, her. She, right, excuse me, take the words sorry. out of my mouth. She, takes, yeah, she that, believes everybody owes her, and you're not the only one. So if she gets a bug of her, you know, she'll, she'll just go after it and just not like that person. And she's alienated a lot of people, so... I wouldn't pay too much attention. Will you be friends with her? I don't know if you'd want to be, but I mean, you would be the one that would have to beg and have to crawl. And I, I don't see that's in your nature. So just like take one day at a time, and you know, if she the wants to come reason, around, fine. I know that she, I know the only reason why I do want to do this is on because, on, because of her nieces. I love her two daughters, and she gets along with my our family. But my sister mm-hmm. says bad things. Do my sisters like me, or is my sister poisoning them? I'm serious. Wait, wait. We just jumped from a different subject. I'm confused. I mean, didn't she just say, okay, I don't understand. I, I would want to make amends with my sister because to be, to be friends with her daughters. Well, nobody's turning them against you. So isn't there a way okay. for you to be friends with your daughters, any of those daughters anyway? Yeah, I am. I know. They, I, I just was worried about that. I'm telling you, my sister can be really nasty. <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. I hear you. But can't you still be friends with the, the daughters anyway? Yeah, we still text back and forth. But I think if she knew, she gets. She, I don't know. <laughs> yes, we are. I just don't want to. You know, I want to stay friends with those two. I don't want my <laughs> sister to poison them. That was my whole how thing. Old, how old are the kids? What's that? How old are the kids? Twenty nine and twenty five, and they're both pregnant. One of them just had a baby. Okay. Well, they are old enough to not have to listen to it at all. And if you were to invite them out or invite them over or invite them to lunch, they'll go. So I, just bypass her and pretend she doesn't exist and just go on about your life. Okay. I just want, I'm telling okay. my sister, I cried over it. She hurt me. Oh, and she doesn't cry. I'm just, I'm, I'm more emotional than she is. I just, I don't like to be mean to people. <laughs> I've always, you know what I'm saying? No, I, I totally understand. But, um, you know, you're a good person. Don't let it bother you and just go on about your life, okay? And let, you know, okay. let the cards fall where they may. I mean, you know, tell her everything you feel, that I do love you no matter what. If you don't want to talk to me, that's okay. But, you know, I love my niece and nephew, and I would like to be part of their lives if I could. And if not, you know, you can because they're of age. They can do what they want. That's a good point. I know. I know. Okay. Thank you for calling. And if you need any further assistance, or anybody does, my number is 808-372-1816 for private consultation. And you can call me, you know, anytime. And I'm in the I'm in Nevada right now. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, darling. You have a nice night. You have a nice evening, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Barb, what do you think of that? Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? I think that I recognize that caller, don't you, Johnny? Uh, do we do? Johnny? Yeah. I'm here. I recognize her voice. Yeah. Don't we know her? I don't know her. Do you know her? Oh, no, but her voice sounds so familiar. Like, I thought it was Sandy for sure, but I guess not. Oh no, that's not Sandy. Okay, I have a question. Okay. So, 
Okay. Gail, uh, when you see pets, because that's interesting oh. that you see animals or children sometimes in in the reading. You know, yes. I wonder what that means. Uh, well, but I am just... I'm, I'm a pet lover. I love Me too. Uh, a dog. I love dogs like there's no tomorrow. Cats I admire and I look at, but they scare the heck out of me. I have paintings and pictures of cats, but I've never had a cat. But dogs, oh, my God, I can't, I can't pass by one without wanting to take it home. So, and children, I don't know, I just picked that up, just picked that up because they're into that. I just feel like, because I think about getting a dog so much, so I, I got I need to start manifesting that because I'm pretty good at manifesting, and yes, I just want the right one. What was that? Yeah, but that that's good, but do you have the time to take care of it, too? Because I see you traveling, traveling, traveling eventually after I know. Well, me. I want to take it with me. I want to take a oh, a, They have to be that. a certain, yeah, they... I want one that you can just take with you, like a service you dog. The first, because you would need it for sure, but for security, the dog is for security, so you could take it with you. There's yeah. no real issue, issue with that. No, because You'll it's so enjoyable. Little, yeah, I just, I just think that if I, a cat, everybody says, oh, yeah, they're easy because you can leave them. They don't care. But you know what? They're harder because you can't take them with you. And when I travel... That is the hard part, to find the care for the cat. And then they go crazy. They hate being left. But the dog, the dog could just go with you all the time. It's just right. really, I think I really want one. Sometimes I sleep in and I think, okay, I hear the other people saying, well, Barbara, don't get one, don't get one, because sometimes you're not going to want to walk it. Well, come on. Sometimes just you got to do some things that you don't always want to do. I mean, I get up every morning and make my daughter breakfast and lunch for school. Okay, I'm tired sometimes, but I do it because I love her. Well, wouldn't I love the dog too? Of course. Of course. So and you can get a little, little one. Be, well, yeah, not too a, little. But no, but you can get one that's just paper trained, you know, pad trained. So then oh, you then like the potty things. Oh, yeah, the potty pad things. Yeah. Those are, you gotta get I remember you gotta them. Exercise. So, I mean, you know, you're mad. We take our dog out, you know, morning and night. She goes out. We have a little path, and she goes out on her run, and she has a dog friend she meets, and she's so happy. So, you know, they're, they're, yeah, they they're bring so much fun. joy. That's why sometimes I think when you see that, maybe because you feel my vibe, because I'm constantly thinking about it lately. Could be. I've been thinking about it lately. I think maybe you picked up on my vibe. <laughs> yeah. That's all I want. My birthday is March 21st. Guess what I want for my birthday? I won't get it, but guess what I want? A dog. <laughs> another dog. You, but I have you mean issue. another dog? Yeah, another, another dog. One. I have, I have an issue. My princess is just very possessive now lately, and her new thing is stand by the door. If my husband wants to leave, she barricades the door. If if he's outside and says look left, look right. Princess looks left and looks right. She doesn't know what she's looking for, but she knows. <laughs> they're weird. That's I mean, so they're weird. smart. Yeah, she's very smart. She's a separate. Okay, I'm going to go back cool. to some phone calls. We're having too much fun. Yeah, let's right. take another one. Area code 212. 212, two, you're two. on live with Psychic Gal Shear. That's the only Hi. New York area code. My God, you must have had that forever. <laughs> Yes, I have had this area code forever, and I'm lucky to have it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I used to be an, a telephone operator many moons ago, and I used to memorize every area code. And I'll tell you something. After I quit, I just forgot it all. Now now they're all changed. But anyway, that's Manhattan, I believe, correct? I'm sorry, say that again? Are, are it's you a what Manhattan? number? Oh, Manhattan? yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's why you have it. And yeah. it's an apartment? Yes, I'm in an apartment. And, yes, and you've been remodeling. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that, and I'm what? You've been remodeling and living stuff around. 
like that? Uh, well, I, that's my hope. I oh. haven't done that. No, not yet. But it's your hope. You want to do that. Okay. Yes. So it is I going would like to, to happen. That. It, it will happen in the future. You're going to make things better, move things around. Uh, why, I don't know, but you're just going to do it. Yes. Yes, it's going to happen at some point. I have to save up enough money to do it. You'll be able to. What type of work do you do now? Well, I work in the nonprofit sector, but right now I'm taking a break, and I interviewed on Monday at a consulting firm and just heard from HR who I interviewed with and said that I'm not advancing to the next round, but I know two people who work at the firm who think I'm a good fit, and I think I'm a good fit, and I'm hoping that something could be done. And so that was actually one of the questions I wanted to ask. That's that's a very interesting question, because in this particular firm, it's who you know. And they can put in good words for you to get your foot in the door. Otherwise, the door doesn't open, and it's not meant to open. And if it's not meant to open, you get it in a different firm that's very similar to it. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah. And I got an interview because of one person putting in a good word for me, but I know somebody else who's higher up Mm -hmm. who is um, requesting feedback. And what you want to do is get that person to help you, you know, by, by word. Yeah. Especially, I'm from New Jersey, you know, New Jersey, New York, and, and a lot of it is who you know, it's these jobs, you know. So what type of company is it? It's a consulting firm that has nonprofits as clients, and so they consult them on fundraising matters, oftentimes in capital so campaign perfect, management. Perfect fit. Uh, no matter what, you're going to get a job in those lines rather quickly. So don't even hold your breath because you won't have breath to hold. It'll be that quick. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Definitely. And be more positive. And we want somebody more vivacious and outgoing and that I know I can do this. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind I can get more people on board than I can get, you know, you have to be more, a little bit more positive. Oh. Okay. Huh. Well, that's interesting because I thought I was very positive in the interview on Monday. I'm just feeling a little bit down today because I just heard the disappointing news. Well, what did they say? Okay, they're saying you didn't advance to the next level. But that doesn't mean you should give up. That means you should consult some friends and see if they can get you with your foot in the door. And uh, what did I do wrong? And you need to find that out and uh, see what they're looking for. Yes. But as I said, if it it isn't this company, it'll be another, and the pay will be well, and it will be good. Okay. And will will the pay be good? That's what I said. The pay will be very good. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry, I didn't hear know. that. All righty, excellent. So you're well, thank you. Good. Not to worry. Yeah, to worry. yeah, yeah. Because I, I feel like I need to start working in April. You know, come springtime, I need to have a good position. Mm-hmm. Then manifest it. Then start thinking about it, day and night, night and day, and just go for it. I have a list. What you're not doing. This is not the only company in the world. Have a list of two or three other ones you'd like to work for, and just go for it. Yeah, will do. Okay. Let me know All what right, happens, well, okay? Okie doke. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Our next one is 510. 510. 510? You're on the air with Psychic like Gal Shear. Hi, who is this? Yeah, my name is Tamika from California. I'm sorry. Um, name, don't name know. again. Huh? What is your name again? Tamika. 
Can you spell that? I'm not getting it or hearing it. Tamika. Oh, Tamika. Okay. And yeah. is that your real name? Excuse me? Is that your real name? Yes. Okay. Tamika. Where, where, where is that from? Uh, the, I'm outside. I don't know. <laughs> where are you from? Where are you calling from? California. Where? <laughs> um, East Bay. East Bay. Can you be more specific? Like San Francisco? In that area. Okay. What would you like to know? Uh, well, you know when do you see me getting my own place? Oh, your own your own place to live. Yeah. Well, then six in that area, it's extremely expensive. Right, it is. I know. I know because I live in Tahoe, and that's like ridiculously high. Uh, right. Almost yeah. As high, almost as high as Hawaii. Uh, hmm, not for a while. Uh, it's rough. You got to keep looking. But I could see something coming about within six to nine months or less. Oh, okay. I mean, for sure. Um, yes, you will be moving, but you may have to move further out. Oh, well. So it's well, not, I was trying I mean, to stay near my job. That's, that was, that's why I wasn't trying to move out, because I was trying to stay near my job. Well, if you want a, if you want a nice... Uh, my, if I'm you living a, with my sibling, and he's going to move a little farther out, but I'm not trying oh. to go with him because that's taking me away from my job. I understand. Uh, but you may have to live with him for a short period of time to find what you want. Uh, yeah, I'm doing that right now before he moves. Yeah, so. yeah well, it's going to be a bit. Okay. What okay. type of work do you do? What type of work do you uh, do? We're at a grocery do? store. Okay, that's cool. Which one, do you know? The food scope. What is that? The, I haven't heard of that. <coughs> is that a new one? Well, no, it's a, it's a Rayleigh store, though. Oh, okay. I'm very familiar with Rayleigh because we have it up here. That's part of oh, okay. Rayleigh? Yeah. Well, why can't you work at any Rayleigh? Yeah, well, I just got on at this particular store, so yeah, that's why Rayleigh's I'm not trying to just... Good. Yeah, Rayleigh's is a very good place to work. Yeah. They they treat their people very well. They're really good, you know. So it'll come in time. Things will happen for you. Not to worry. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Have a good one. Thank you. All right. Bye. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, Barb, talk to me. Well, it's funny that you know the grocery store working. I always thought it would be so fun to work at a grocery store when I was really little because bagging the groceries. I love doing it myself. Plus, if you're on the job. You don't feel like being around people. You just go work in an aisle away from people. It is really a good job with great benefits. So I I can see why she doesn't want to uh, move away from that. So Sometimes yeah. you, blow, you blow my mind with strangeness. You are, really? You are so <laughs> talented. You're so talented and so gifted. And do so many things that you just want to work at a grocery store. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I really always think about that, that these people are so lucky. What a fun job. And everybody's so happy, and it's always so upbeat. And it just is. It's just a good, you know, and if you're I doing a, the part, a normal the kind part, of thing. The, the part mm-hmm. I'd like about a grocery store would be a cashier. I would like to play a fun game out of everybody's food to see what type of person they were, to do a foodology, you know, on what they buy, to see what kind of a person it is. Yeah, and I like the cash register because it, I worked at a store when I was in, you know, high school or whatever, and early 20s, and I loved it because you stay really busy. Otherwise, if you're a salesperson, you're wandering around. The, the worst jobs are the ones – that are boring. Those hours go by so slowly. But if you're at the cash register and you're busy, it flies by. And I did that. I loved it. You get real fast. 
Don't ask me to do it now. Oh my gosh. I, you know, I can't, oh, I can't even see the, I could not even see the numbers. (laughs) (laughs) That is so tricky. I know glasses are getting older. What can you say? It's all good. It's all good stuff. But But um, you know, when you are telling people that there's a lot of jobs out there, it's so true. And that I want people to remember the grocery, when they're starting out, the grocery store job is great because there's so many other positions. You could climb and climb and climb. There are tons of positions within grocery stores. We're talking anywhere. And there's just tons of stuff, even in the high end places. I mean, like, it just is right now. There's just some, I don't know what it is. Right, but, but for example, though, if somebody is looking for a job, like a regular job, wouldn't it be better at a grocery store than, like, say, a high-end jewelry store where you might get two people walk in a day? I wouldn't like either. <laughs> I, Sorry. I for me, I, I mean, if I could go back in time to any job, I would pick te- the old telephone operator with the cord. That that was me. You know, they had cords. That was Good wow. Thing I remember. I was the plugging that. in here and plugging a lot of the plugins. That yeah, that old yeah. fashioned. Oh, I cool. loved it. I loved it for Ma Bell Pacific Telephone, and just to be able to. This is why now that that got me really good at listening to the voice of the person and being able to mm-hmm. see things, and that's I think it was a part of it. But I think I love that job more than anything else. I've I've had you know blackjack dealer, all kinds of things, but I did love being a telephone operator. And they don't have the cords anymore. I'd love to find a place that did. I, I in two minutes that would take a job there. Oh, that's awesome! Remember, and they had the roller skates too. Yeah, but this is different. <laughs> that might have been really a long time ago. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to uh, the phone lines. How are okay. you doing, John? All right. 334. Hello. 334, you are on live with Psychic Dale Shear. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much for taking my call. Hi. Where are you calling my name? from, Katie? I'm calling from Alabama. Alabama, okay. And your first name? Shakira. Okay. Nobody has a normal name. There isn't Mary or anything. You know, it's always weird names lately. Okay, Shakira. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shakira. But, oh, Shakira. And mm-hmm. uh, what do you do in Alabama? What do I do? Yeah. I'm in school. I'm a mom. You're t- just taking classes? Uh-huh. Okay, so what do you want to be? Because I want to see if you'll make it. Um, well, I'm going for my GED at this time. Um, later, oh, okay. I don't know what it's going to be after that. Okay, you will, oh, pass, you, you will, you will pass the GED with flying colors. I know. I will. How, I mean. how long yes. do you see it? Do you see it well, kind of far off or... No, not really. If you really study for it, you will. I know how hard that is to take because I have friends that have taken it. If I had to take it nowadays, I wouldn't be able to pass it. It's ridiculous, I mean, how hard it is. But you are going to pass it. There's no doubt about it. Do you see it within months? Within what? Do you see it within months or a little further off than that? A little further off, within six. I mean, but you will make it. You will make it. What do you want to do after that? I don't know yet. Probably, I don't know. I'm just focusing yeah, on it right now. Okay, so you, you want to? I see going. I see taking more classes at school. I think you're going to be good. So not to work. Mm-hmm. You just have a lot of fun, you know, and enjoy. And it's rough on you, but and you know you have like maybe six other things to do in one day, but you're fine. Yeah. And I yes, just ma'am. Keep, May I ask a question? Sure. Um, I have a situation where my ex, my ex, he was, we were coming along married, but we were tied legally in Alabama. We had to get a divorce and everything. 
But um, mm-hmm. he's not following the divorce agreement. He doesn't pay child support. And mm-hmm. um, since he doesn't pay child support, when he files income taxes, the money comes to me, you know, because child support takes it. But he has yet to file, trying to hurt me. And I'm just trying to mm. see, do you see him filing the kids eventually? Or do you see if I let, like I have a friend that I've been dating on and off, but he's been supporting me and my children ever since. 2016. Mm-hmm. I'm trying mm-hmm. to see if I allowed him to file my kids, would I be in any trouble if legally? You, uh, if you would allow him to what? If I allow my my on and off again boyfriend that's been supporting me and my kids to claim my children, would I be in any type of trouble? Yes, you would be in trouble. Yes. Eventually, that would uh, check with an attorney. I mean, you can see he's not your husband. So, I mean, I don't know the law that if one person isn't paying and another person is, I don't know. I'm not an attorney. So you definitely have to check with an attorney on that. But I don't know what to tell you on that. I just don't know. But I wouldn't want to do anything against the law. So, I mean, as far as you can report him to the IRS, your husband, for not doing what he's supposed to do, and you can bring him back to court and get child support if you want to. He's on child support. He just don't pay it, and I did a warrant. I know. You can do the warrant, and, you know, uh, eventually he's going to get caught, and he will have to pay it. Mm-hmm. So he'll be going well, do, you see, do you see any love in the future? You don't love the other guy? I don't want to be with him. I just want to know, do you see that? Okay, but you want his money, but you don't want to love him. I do love him, but I don't want to be with him. Okay. Um, I don't see a third person coming in yet, but, I mean, as far as this is concerned, it's like uh, I think he should handle one thing before you get rid of another thing, and I think Mm -hmm. you should really deal with the first husband first and do everything you can to get your money and see what happens. And then start dating, you know, after that. Okay? Okay. But I'm not an attorney, so just go check with one. Yeah, I did. You know what? Jane. That might be fun to check out, check out different attorneys because I've heard of many stories where the attorney falls in love with the client over these kinds of things, over divorce proceedings. It happens a lot. Her chances of that happening is zero to one percent. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for calling, okay? Go shop Thank for a you. lawyer and in the back of your mind you could be thinking of love. Oh <sighs> well, uh, out there sometimes. <laughs> That is oh, funny, but buddy, good gonna... luck, though. Call. I mean, she's not yeah. pretty good. She has a nice person helping her out that she does love, but more as a friend. And so she's not down and out that way, but it's so not right when the, you know, the other party is just not paying just to be spiteful. Now that is hurting yeah, there are a lot of the children. That. That, that's, oh, you know, that's like making your children chicken wings, so it's not fun. But um, she has a lot of, man, I could go in a reading with her forever. Uh, um, Why don't you give out my number and let them know just in case. Okay, Okay. is it 808 or it's 808-372-1816, correct? That's for private consultation. And also I can say that for those of you who don't go to are not in the position where they can write it down, it's in the description of the show. Yes. And also, still, it is yes. uh, it is attached in our YouTube under each description of the shows that oh, are cool. on our YouTube channel, Life, Laughter, Happiness. On the bottom, a direct link. You know, after you listen to the show or you're reading the description, on the bottom is a direct link to your website, dalesheer.com. Wow, that's super good. Thank you. That was just, yeah, I took care of that good. for you. Yeah. Yep. Look, so yeah. it's pretty easy to find Dale and, you know, 
you only have a few minutes here on the show to talk to her. And so you could talk to her for hours, she just said. And yeah, you have her phone number now. I mean, how how easy is that? She has a lot of Did people. you want to talk to maybe people. one more call? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep there. Go ahead. All right. It's area code 770. 770, you are on live with Psychic Dale Shear. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Guess they're oh. not on live. Oh, well, Johnny, go to the next one then. Okay, 770. 770, you're on live now with Psychic Dale Shear. Welcome. What's going on? Go ahead. All right. This is 509. 509, Mm -hmm. you're the lucky caller. You're on live with Dale Shear. Are you there? Psychic Psychic Dale Shear, are you there? Uh Uh-oh, we're having some problems again. Yeah. What's going on? That's weird. Mm. Let me try something. Okay. okay. Well, well, you and I can talk while he's trying. Yeah. We, we apologize. Yeah. She already oh, gets there. I'm just, I just called back in because y'all disconnected me after oh, your okay. listening. Okay. 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 What's your name? Okay, good. Uh, I think you already read her. I wonder sometimes after we discuss the callers, they might get a little chuckle because when I say things like that, you're like, Barbara, that was really far out. <laughs> but I mean, Okay, I but this it. one has to hang up. That's what ha- that's what's holding up the line. She has to hang up. Johnny. Okay, so if you hang up, you can still listen to the full show after the show is over on our YouTube channel and see all of our other shows as well and listen to those on Life Laughter Happiness YouTube. So don't be afraid to hang up, and then we will be able to connect another call, eager caller. Okay, Johnny, do you have a system? Hello? A lot of times Hello. they do hang on. A lot of them are on the line listening, many people, and this doesn't happen. So that should not yeah, be that, the that reason. Clogs the li- that clogs up the lines a lot of times. Because hmm. a lot of times I'll get it where I used to do it in Hawaii. Be, uh, oh, I got 770 on. Oh, okay. great. Okay. Great. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Hi, You're I'm sorry about that. I'm all the way. Oh. Wow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we heard you loud and clear. Uh, oh, yeah. Fantastic. No, I, I don't Take have a specific... Take me off speaker. Take us off speaker. Oh, Okay, hold on for a second, please. I got okay. to grab the other phone. Okay. I can hear that echo effect, and that makes me read my own picture. So that's not fun. Ha, ha, ha. That's funny. <laughs> that's a good one. It's true. You know, if I can really? still hear myself. Yeah, if I still hear myself. I, can't hear, oh. I cannot hear myself think if I echo. Hi. Okay. Is this Hi, better? What's your name? Is this better? Yes. What is your name? My name is Maddie. Where are you calling from? Georgia. Georgia. We're getting yeah, a Atlanta. lot of yeah, coverage. Hot Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta. Okay, we're getting a lot of uh, southern people. That is wonderful. One place I haven't been yet. <laughs> and just, the, the southerners are just so lovely. Um, what Thank can you. I do for you, darling? I don't have a specific question. I just want to know what you're picking up around me. Anything? A lot of laughter. Um, a lot of laughter. A lot of fun. You make you make jokes out of everything. If there's something really sad going on, you'll find the goodness in it. Uh, you, it, it, you you tend to be more positive, you know, at, with your outlook on life, and you tend to be more happy and joyous. And you don't want any, even if bad things happen, you don't want anything to hurt uh, you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Does that make sense? Hello? I'm here. I'm here. Hello? Okay, you got to respond faster. 
Does that make sense, what I told you? Yes, it does make sense. I am a positive person. I Thank um you. And I do try to find the positive, you know, um, I – yeah, I'm, I yeah. That's, um, there are times I just get, I look at my house plants and I just see how they're thriving. I just get happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because you cause it, because you have that green thumb and you always cause it, and so that's a good thing. Are you yes. getting a dog or doing something with a dog? No dog, not that I know of. Unless it's something, it's going to be a surprise to me if it does happen. No. Well, I feel like there's an animal around you. You know, so I, I don't know what that is, but it could be you getting an animal, or it could be Barbara again thinking about it. So Barbara, don't think about it. But anyway, okay. what if I, you have? I just feel I don't. I'm not familiar with Georgia area, Atlanta, Georgia, but uh, I do see some good cooking. I see some fun. I see a lot of friends. I see a lot of gatherings, and I see a lot of good times for you. I mean, I don't see anything bad. You see a lot of good times that, that oh, does it, um, maybe that's that, all of that change that's coming. Wow. Definitely. You have a lot of Definitely. change. A lot of change. A lot of change. Yeah, it's all good, though. I don't see anything bad. Oh, fantastic. I, mean, I, just, I feel you're going to, you're just a real happy person. You know, you got you got it all going for you. Yeah, yeah. Why don't wow. I see a man? Why don't I see a man around you? Uh, that was going to be my next question. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you want to find someone? I have someone in mind, and I just wonder: is he? Uh, is um, it, do I? It, do um, does he have me on his agenda? Is there a B like boy or J in his name? No, there's no B or J in his name, no. Are you sure? A-S-S-S, really. Wow. No, there has to be someone because I'm picking it up. Do you know his middle name? Sinclair. Well, there's an A. Okay, but anyway. I do feel, um, do you talk on the uh, Internet a lot with him? Uh, no, I talk on the phone a lot with him. Okay, so and are you both in the same state? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. I feel he has feelings for you and he likes you very much. But there's someone else with him as well, or was someone with him. Are you oh, aware I don't... of that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's someone else with him. I, I really, because I don't. I never asked, but but here recently, I I I just noticed that um, I get a call from him in the morning, and I get a call from him in the evening, and it's like wow. And he asked me one day. He say, he said, I'll take care of you. He say, would you take care of me? I said, if you will allow me to, he say then and he say, I tell you what, I take care of you and you take care of me. Oh, that's sweet. He does care about you a lot. That is so sweet. That is so Aww. sweet. I would pursue this relationship. Definitely, because I feel that it's gonna do good, it's gonna be fine and you're gonna have fun with it and enjoyability and I genuinely feel that he does care for you very much. I, I kind of believe that. I kind of believe that too. And uh, okay, I will pursue it. But um, yes, because he he had uh, he was uh, he did uh, attempt. He made an effort to pursue me. Um, uh, was it last year? You were full last, I believe. And I I, I guess I wasn't. I, I was not ready. And um, and now. I feel like I'm ready. My, I wanted my yeah. heart and I wanted my mind and my just, heart to be at the same space, you know, same. Just give him, just, just give him the chance, okay? Give him the chance. Yes. Oh, okay. I, 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 don't I think, think you'll be. Dis- I do not think you'll be disappointed, dear. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm okay. Gonna, thank you. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take it and run with it. <laughs> okay. Good idea. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Tell me what's going on with the board. Well, um, 
We're about out of time, but we can go back and check that 509 call real quick. Let me see. Yeah. 509? Yeah. 509. You are live with Psychic Dale Shear. Welcome to the show. 509. I know that. That's Spokane, Washington. I thought it was Oregon. What is going on with the phone line? It's yeah. Okay. I know there's a 770 line that took me some. That was, this is the last caller that we have. Um, okay. 509. No, no, but you know what's happening is that, yeah, talk to Blog Talk Radio. Um, a lot of the calls, are just sometimes it gets too many and they clog up the lines. Um, they're not getting through. Yeah. Definitely. We'll have to let them know because Johnny always lets them know when we have any kind of technical difficulties, yeah, but, don't but, you, Johnny? My, yeah. my whole life, I'll have tons of readings, and it, it clogs up the. They wait and it clogs up the phone lines, and it disconnects a lot of people. So that's what happens. So are, are we at our end because of that? Yeah, we're out of the, we're we're out of time, but uh, um, and there are no more callers, so. Uh, did you, uh, Wait, I want to ask you one more question. I would like to ask Del a question. Okay. As you're walking around in the day, not that I'm asking if you're prying on anybody or people, but, you know, you can't help it. But if you walk near somebody and you feel something, do you... Does this happen to you a lot, or is it something you can turn off and on at your leisure because you don't want, want to necessarily do that? Or no, how does that work throughout off. your day? Well, I'll be in, Never can, it's called the curse. I mean, you know, you'll be in an elevator mm-hmm. and you're, you're picking up on people and everything that they're doing, and uh, you don't want to say anything, and I don't. But, I mean, uh, yeah, I pick up on it all the time. Can I turn it off? No. That's why I kind of isolate myself and like to live in a place where there's not a lot of people so that I don't get all that interaction of of picking up on people. So you don't like the big crowd scene. But just, I mean, there's people everywhere. The grocery store, just in the park, everywhere. There's people. Because I, you know... I'm just a normal person, and I can feel when somebody's just around me, ooh, such a negative vibe, and then I feel yeah. such a positive vibe around. It's real stuff out there, people. It really is real. You haven't realized what you have said, that you're a feeler, and I'm a feeler, and we're 10% of the population. Uh, the rest are visual and hearing people. You know, but I'm going to tell you right now, I feel everything, and this coronavirus thing, everything that's going on, I feel, you know. I'm sitting there taking my temperature twice a day, and we don't even have it in Nevada, you know. It's stupid, you Mm -hmm. know, but it's like um, I feel, and I feel too much. I went and bought groceries, $500 worth of groceries. My husband goes, what are you doing? Wow. (laughs) Yeah, because I said, well, I have groceries. (laughs) I said there would be a big thing going on in it. I think you did tell us that we Call needed to now. prepare last hold week. Hold on a second. Hold it's on. A... Hold on. Okay. Hi. Right, Hello? Johnny. I think. Uh, I think Johnny, did you tell Johnny, us that, that we should prepare. No, Johnny, yes. what's happening is they're calling my phone number. They're calling my number oh. instead of calling you. Because I'm just getting phone call after phone call. Okay. Well, well, during the broadcast, they should just leave a message with you. I mean, that's good. You've gotten several yeah, we, people we from the to show. tell them to not call me till after the show. Yeah. What's happening. If they're starting to call me and they need to be calling Johnny. This is this is what I wrote, uh, Dale. It says, for those of you who want to schedule the appointment with Dale outside the show, call 808-372-1816. That is correct. 
But that's after the show, okay? So I've had but also days. your website, too. Your website I want them to go to as well, com because it talks a lot about you. kind of relaxes them. They can read a little bit. Okay. You know, what yeah. I want, it's, what I want is Johnny to talk to Blog Radio and fix this problem because they keep getting, you know, cut off or some weird thing starts happening. And, yeah. And, yeah, let him fix it. So I guess we'll end it yeah. tonight, and let me get back to this yeah. other person who wants to talk to me. Okay, thanks, okay. Jeff, for everything, and we're glad that we have a caller that's calling you directly now. So, great. Yeah. But I yeah. want them to be Everybody calling else. Johnny. I want them to be calling Johnny to get to me, not calling me. Okay. We'll let you go and deal with that caller, and then I'll do the shout-out and explain it to everybody right now. If okay, that's what you would like. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Talk to you soon, Dale. Thank you. Okay. Thank you guys for everything you've done. I appreciate more than you know in a million years. Thank you. Aw. Aloha. Aloha. Oh. <laughs> okay. We always just love Dale. She is so good. And she's so fast. And so while she's helping that person from our show, we would like to tell you, okay, to make it clear, we're handing out Dale's home phone number or herself, whatever phone she has at her home, you're dialing. But could you please refrain from dialing it during the broadcast and wait till after the show because she's actually using that phone to talk on the show. And then just right. write the number down and do it later. But you can always, while you're on the show, check out her website, dalesheer.com, D-A-Y-L-E-S-C-H-E-A-R, Dot com. She's on every Thursday. So all you have to do is go to Life, Laughter, Happiness YouTube channel. While you're there, there's a whole playlist. You'll see Psychic Night. She has a lot of shows listed there, and they're all amazing. So do that, please. And while you're there, do not forget to subscribe. We appreciate your support. We really do. And Johnny and I post up every single day what the show is going to be for the day, sometimes the day before. We will post it on our Facebook page and group page. Please become a member of group page. Yes. What was that, Johnny? What, Johnny? Hello. Okay, and then we are also on Twitter, Instagram, and we have our own website. And we have always on the front of the website, the featured show that we find to be an interesting one. Maybe it's from the past. Maybe it's, you know, not too long ago, but we have a featured show right there. So you can click on that and then enjoy it, please. We always love to hear from you. And the best place, I think, is the Facebook group page where we can have like a chat and a banter back and forth about any of your thoughts, any of your concerns, we can pass it, it along to Dale. Wait, Barbara, Barbara, I want to talk to you for a yes. moment. Barbara. Oh, sure. Do you think we'd be better on Friday or what? Well, why? Were we not good on thir- Are we not well, equal to the Thursdays? Blog, I don't know if Blog Talk Radio is, you know, screwing up. Or what? You know, because we were getting a heck of a lot more calls. I'm sorry. We're, we're still on the air. We're still on the air. We're on the air. Oh. Let's. Okay, <laughs> I didn't even know you were still here. I was going on about the shout out and everything. <laughs> okay, so okay. Uh, yes, let's. Uh, we will discuss that, but we're going to get cut off of the show. But we yeah. want to say good night yeah. to everybody. Good night. Okay. And then I'll call we'll Johnny resume. back in about two minutes and talk to you. Okay. 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 Okay, we'll talk to all three perfect. of us, okay? Okay, okay perfect. Bye.